Bob Mills here, and I'm with Brad Miller of Stone Rocks. Welcome, Brad. Hi, Tom. Thanks for having me. We're, uh, we're standing just outside of the west wall of the uh, Green Home TV Home Edition project here, and behind us, you're looking at the Stone Rocks lightweight veneer stone that we used to, uh, to collab the house with. Uh, I mean, when we looked at this, we were looking for a product that would uh, last a long time, that would kind of match the original house that we were adding this onto, and we were looking for something local too. So those were a few of the different features that we saw when we were looking for product out there and that you guys came with. Well, with the Stone Rocks line, um, you hit on some of our major points. Um, versatility, taking a product that can be used many different colors and styles, using in many different applications, interior, exterior, uh, renovations, new construction, and then having a product that's also gonna be durable, low maintenance, and, um, and look beautiful when it's completed. Mm -hmm. And we're kind of, you know, using it in two different combinations there. This is mainly a new build that we did here, uh, installing the stone rocks on top of an ICF-based construction. We're also gonna be doing uh, a reno side, removing some vinyl siding and, uh, and installing in that application as well. So it does really seem to lend itself well to both kind of applications. Yes, the versatility of it, um, and, and being a lightweight facing stone, now you're able to put stone in an area where typically you couldn't put traditional masonry. Right. So somewhere you'd require a, a foundation ledge uh, to support weight, here it's more like a stone tile, uh, where now you can put stone over top of, in this case, rigid foam, or over top of plywood construction, um, over top of masonry background as well. It's just stepping back a little bit then, you know, the average homeowner, whether they're starting a new project or whether they're looking at a reno, uh, and they're looking at those choices of exterior claddings, why would a person be looking at stone? What are the elements that, that are going to key in on that? Well, the first draw to uh, a stone or masonry product is its elegance. It's uh, having stone is a, is a very rich look to a, a home, and it's going to be a, an upgrade and appeal to everyone. Uh, it's going to add curbside value to a home, and also it's just the timeless, timeless look of masonry product. Um, now, with uh, using something like a, a siding, um, a foam panel, great products, but when you get into a masonry product, you're dealing with the durability, something that's going to outlast our life cycle, something when it's finished. It doesn't need to be painted, it doesn't need to be touched up, and uh, you finish up with a, a very rich look to it. So then for us, in our decision process, that was probably the key thing for us as we looked through all those different choices and we looked at all those siding choices and everything else. Ultimately, what came down to for us was saying in you know, 10, 15, 20 years, do I want to paint it? Do I want to replace it? Uh, because it's just gotten weather beaten. Exactly. And, and the nice thing with the stone, um, we offer so many profiles and colors. Um, you can do a, a situation like you've done here, taking a couple colors. Uh, in this case, we've used one style on the top and the bottom section. On the bottom, we've taken an 80% of our Wireton Willow color in our cobblestone style and mixed in 20% of our brownie bark, which is a, a deeper red. It really looks natural in this home. Um, when we get around to the front, we'll see some of the red brick, and it really ties in well with that section. Mm -hmm. And it allows you to be customized. Uh, if you want to put certain shapes, certain styles in, and in whatever color pat uh, palette you want, uh, we kind of run the, uh, the full scheme of different colors that are natural to the Ontario market. The next piece of the puzzle that that customer is going to be looking at is the price point. Where does this product come in kind of over the gamut? Being a locally manufactured product, we come in at a very attractive price point. Um, now when you compare that into using products like a siding, um, a paneling, we're going to be a little bit higher, but that's going to be also what's going to lead to the upgrade, the, the appeal of using a masonry product. You know, you, to have a nice stone home versus a siding home, which is uh, budget for budget reasons, sometimes necessary, this is going to be your upgrade. So being made in uh, Stouffville, you mentioned being, for us in the GTA here, that's local. Correct. Um, all the ingredients, all the production, everything falls within the 800 kilometer, 500 mile radius, which um, leads uh, determines as a locally manufactured product. So that's going to help add to the ability to gain lead points from it. Much of this project has been about using locally sourced materials wherever we can. Even uh, this house here being built in th roughly the 1840s, the original part of the portion of this house here, much of the original foundation and so forth would have been made from stones you know, right from the property. And that's where taking a stone which you've chosen here, uh, the cobblestone, it looks like what you'd find naturally on the foundation of this home. It looks like something that's not out of its element and having locally um, produced colors that, that match the different regions in this area, a, a multicolor is what you're going to find in the fields in this area. Mm -hmm. So then these all become parts of that green uh, perspective on the, on the product. The fact that once it's installed, you're never going to redo it again. 
Um, I fully expect the stone on the house here now to outlive me or almost anyone else unless somebody comes in with a dozer and pulls it down. So that durability aspect of it, the local manufactured aspect of it, and the recycled aspect of it. Those seem to be all the, the different pieces of the puzzle that created for us this being a green product. And also the versatility of um, taking what we've done in this situation, using um, highly efficient products like ICF foundations, um, rigid foam. It allows you now to, to renovate a project, um, adding in products that are going to up the efficiency of the home and still having a stone look on the outside of it because mm -hmm. now you can build out from your from your existing structure. We certainly used it in an exterior application here, but I mean the product has a lot of interior applications as well. Anything from feature walls, fireplaces, um, backsplashes, almost any application that you can think of, stone can be put there. With all the variation and the whole palette, the, the interior designers must love you guys. There's just so much flexibility for them in the design. So whether they're specifying it then in a project, a custom home or whatever, or whether somebody's doing a renovation, where, where do they go about finding your product? We have uh, over 60 locations throughout the Ontario market, and then also into the, the eastern provinces as well, the maritime provinces. Um, through that, building supply centers, um, familiar stores like Home Hardwares, um, but also we, we specialize in the masonry supply centers uh, that are experts in, in the field of masonry and stone products. Somebody may be looking at this, wondering whether or not this is a, a product that they could do it themselves, um, how, in, how entailed that's going to be, uh, whether it's something they could take on themselves as a DIY project. I get that question quite often. Um, you know, with, with an interior project, it, it is very similar to tile work. Um, it's some, something that anyone in handy could really tackle. Uh, you're just worrying about the aesthetics at that point. Uh, when dealing with an exterior project, um, unless you're fairly competent in construction methods, uh, you are dealing with the elements. So we do recommend a qualified installer in that application. Um, we do have a list readily available, or all of our dealers have uh, local contractors as well that they refer. Uh, website is stonerocks, S-T-O-N-R-O-X dot C-A, stonerocks dot C-A. And, and that's gonna give you a list of all of our dealers and also our contact information. Sure, sure, and you can find out, uh, you can get that contact from our website at greenhometv.org. Uh, there's uh, portions of the install there as well, and uh, so you can see how it uh, all came together. Yeah, and all of our product galleries are there that are going to show all the styles and colors and, and different applications as well to give you some ideas.